thank you to all of our fantastic sponsors who have helped make Vex Worlds a success. Here we're ready, finally ready to get started with semifinal two, match number one. We want to make sure all of our robots are in fine working form. This technology division over here in red has already had those play-in matches. They've been battering it out here on the NAS division field, so they needed a little time to get ready. But let's once again meet these fantastic group of competitors, starting out with Massac High School from Monroe, Connecticut. Team 4478E, Roar Vex D! And their alliance partner from JL Man High Academy in Greenville, South Carolina, the 3796F, pay respects. Facing off against them in blue, the design winners from Math Division, from Covington Catholic High School in Park Hills, Kentucky, Team 9257C, House Cats. And their alliance partner from NSU University School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Team 4154X USSR. All four robots on the field ready to go. Red, ready? Blue, we ready. Let's start the autonomous in three, two, one, go. Oh, at the races, blue takes two, red takes one. The House Cats managing to claw away that neutral goal from the Pay Respects team. And at the end of the autonomous, Blue will take the autonomous bonus. Drivers ready. Three, two, one, go. The USSR managing to score in the autonomous period on their mobile goal. They now continue that action. Their alliance partner doing the same. The House Cats moving across the field. Robot 9257C from Covington Catholic picking up from the field, depositing behind them. Same activity happening on the Red Alliance. They're down one of the goals, but they have two of those red mobile goals. They're filling right behind both robots. Massic trying to pick it up. 4478E picking up the pace across the field while their Alliance partner, Pay Respect, playing some defense against the House Cats. Red Alliance, Blue Alliance trying to find an opening as Red continues to play some aggressive defense against the House Cats here, 50, 92 57 C. Meanwhile, USSR completely unguarded, looking to go up as we get to just under a minute remaining on the clock. 41 54 X trying to start their elevation right behind them. We've got Roar Vex D trying to play some defense. They can continue to interfere with that elevation for another 15 seconds. We're coming in on the 30 second mark now. Looks like Red Alliance trying to set up their elevation. They're gonna go for the double robot elevation. We have Pay Respects following their leaders, Roar Vex D over on the blue side. The House Caps are up with three goals. Very precariously placed by USSR as we come to 13 seconds left on the clock. USSR also managed to seek a ring on the upper branch. Five seconds left on the clock. Can Red Alliance correct the time? They're up, they're good. Time is up on this semi-final match. Nail-biting action all the way through this match. Grant, I'm gonna throw it over to you because that was fantastic. Fantastic. I like that word for her. That's why we love you, George Chen. Man, fantastic matches all day. Speaking of fantastic matches, I'm here for uh, with one of my friends here from X of Life. What's your name, buddy? My name's Chris. Chris, and what's your role at X of Life? Uh, my role is scouting as well as drive skills, uh, driver skills. Driver skills, driver, yeah. So what was really exciting to me was, um, you know, as I, I went over to talk to Chris, I was like, hey, man, I understand, like, if you guys are interested in coming up, you know, I know it's been kind of a weird, you know, finals for you. And he's like, no, I'm so stoked. And, and I mean, get, why was that? Like, some teams, they get eliminated. They're like, I don't want to go talk to anybody. Like, what, how's the statement going for you, though? Yeah, so we're the farthest going Virginia team in the history of Worlds. So we were really, really happy and really stoked to uh, get all the way over here. That's absolutely incredible, man. That, and it's an achievement you absolutely, absolutely should be proud of. So as the Virginia team who has made it the furthest ever uh, in the Dome, you know, you guys are no stranger to high levels of competition. 
These drivers are doing intense strategies, intense defense, intense back-to-back -back matches. Um, so you said you're the driver skills match uh, driver, right? So how does that differ, like in terms of you know the techniques you need to work on in practice versus what we're seeing on the floor? Yeah. So um, one of the, so I'm actually some of the driver skills uh, driver. We. Uh, actually have a separate driver for tournaments, which was already up here. And we kind of split that up in order to split up stress. Uh, and in addition, we, for me, since I'm also the scouter, I make sure to uh, make sure to look at the opponent's autonomous and all these other factors that maybe aren't in driver skills. And for me, I just kind of have a repetitive process of practicing and practicing and practicing the same uh, path over and over again in order to get the highest score. That's incredible, yeah. And so with that, you know, repetitive process, that drilling, you know, is it is it a skill that, you know, has a, has helped you out in other places in life? Or, you know, are, where do you think you're going? Because you, you told me you're a senior, right? Yeah, I'm a senior. Oh, my goodness. So where are you going to school after this, you know? Uh, the U UNC Chapel Hill. Excellent, excellent. Well, good luck in everything you do. And again, congratulations on making it as far as you did in the Dome. I think we're ready for some scores. All right, Grant, we're ready for the scores, and that's 202 to 263, the Blue Alliance, the Math Division advances. Let's take a look at our bracket. Grant, which way is this going to go? All right, we now have our two finalist divisions. Arts and math are going to be showing down here in just a second. At the end of the day, it was the number five seed and the number six seed. So nobody from the very top, but the middle of the pack is who's uh, slow and steady wins the race. That consistency is what is uh, really going to be the key here. All right, back to you, Tyler. What's next?